Hey there everyone, uh, today I'm going to be doing um, another video in my Simple Vaping for Beginners tutorials. Um, today I'm going to be talking about <clears throat> the question that I get asked a lot, which is for beginners, what would you recommend? Atomizers, cardamizers, clearmizers, what brands, things like that. So I've done a video on the Ego Twist. That's my battery of choice for beginners. I think it's it's a good battery. Now, I've got a whole lot of devices in my hand right now. So I'm gonna go just kind of one by one and show you what they are. Some of them I actually I just got today. Some of them I've been using for a while. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you uh, so what they are. So the first thing that I got is uh, an atomizer. This is a, a standard 510 bridgeless atomizer, standard resistance with a drip tip on the top. To talk about these. Um, the next thing is uh, a clear miser. So this is actually an Inakin Eye Clear Clear Miser. Some juice in it. Um, similar to the Stardust. These ones are a little bit better. I'll explain why. Um, on the same realm as the clear misers, there's the VV Nova. This has a long aluminum drip tip on it, but it's a VV Nova Mini. Um, I love these things. These things are awesome. Uh, it's just pretty much a souped up clear miser with a, a bit bigger tank. Um, there's the Kanger T3s that a lot of people like. Um, they're okay. I actually just got this one today. This one I've been hearing really great things about. This is the Kanger Evod. It's a stainless steel tank. Um, Kanger makes some great products, so I'm gonna be trying this out today. And the last thing, this is actually a dual coil uh, cardamizer. So I'm going to be talking about that as well. So to start off, where should I start? Let's see. I'm going to start off with the atomizer. So atomizers, what are they? Well, essentially an atomizer is, uh, this is on my iTaste MVP. You can kind of see in there. An atomizer is just a coil, essentially. There's no, you know, things in there that are going to wick up your stuff. Um, so let me grab some juice here. What are atomizers used for? Atomizers are used for dripping. Now, what dripping means is, uh, if you're like me, sometimes I get flavor ADD. So sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm sitting in, at home. I've got my box of flavors that I rotate pretty frequently. Um, and I decide, yeah, I don't want to vape one flavor. I don't want to keep switching out clearmizers, so I'll just drip. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I've got a bottle of five pawns e-liquid Bowden's Mate, 18 milligrams, um, it's a 50-50 PG-VG blend. This is some great liquid. Uh, the, their store just opened up actually. It's a little bit expensive. A 30 milliliter bottle is $30, so it's, it's expensive. So what you do, you take your liquid. This one has a drip bottle, but if you have you know, a Mount Baker bottle, you can just drip straight in. You literally only do a couple drops, so just kind of hold it right over the coil and just one two, maybe three. I try not to go over five. If you put too many drops in, if you put too much liquid in, it's gonna seep, start seeping out the bottom and leak really bad and it's gonna get all over your battery. It's just, it's not gonna be good. So, it's as simple as that. Now, I'm gonna show you how it vapes in a second, but atomizers, um, people like them because they give you really good flavor, clean flavor. You can switch out flavors instantly. Um, once you know it starts tasting bad, drip a new flavor in. You're not going to get any remnants of the other flavor, so it, it's good for you know testing out flavors. That's what I use mine for. Uh, but it also, I think, in my opinion, gives you like a thicker smoke uh, vapor. My bad, gives you a thicker vapor. So uh, you know if you're doing smoke tricks or whatever you want, it's thicker. I mean, some people like that. So I'll show you how it vapes. really good really good really good juice um, the next thing I'm gonna talk about just kind of in order is this uh, dual coil cardamizer now these uh, people like these I'm not a fan why am I not a fan it's kind of hard to fill these it's a it's it's a skill it's a practice skill you kinda get used to it but I'll show you inside so inside there there's a uh, coil wrapped around uh, with some some wicking material wrapped around it 
and uh, so this is a large version of a, a cardamizer. Normally, you know, you can buy cardamizers that are, are this big. The, the little cartridges you get on, you know, Blues or Mystics or whatever you're buying from a store, um, those are actually cardamizers pre-filled with liquid. Now, cardamizers, you kind of just pu put the liquid in, let it soak in, and just when it starts kind of pooling above the, the wicking material, you stop. Similar to the atomizers, if you put too much in, it's going to leak out the bottom. If you blow out the mouthpiece, like, it's going to blow right out the bottom. It's messy and it's not good. Um, the one thing I do like about these, the throat hit is really good. Um, they normally give you some solid vapor, but the best thing that I've noticed, and also a lot of my friends that are vapors have noticed, is that I haven't filled this in a month. I filled this a month ago. I don't vape this frequently, but I, I do vape it occasionally. So a month worth, you know, I didn't put that much, like maybe two milliliters in it, three at the most. Um, and uh, the flavor's still really good. It might not have the best vapor production right now because it's a little bit, uh, and it's not filled all the way, but like, it's the flavor's still there. Vapor production wasn't that bad actually, but the flavor's still there. I'm not getting a burnt taste. When these do start running low, you're gonna get a really horrible burnt taste. So you will know when these are low. Um, I mean, it's something you should try. I think uh, they're not that expensive. They're disposable, um, but I wouldn't. I don't necessarily recommend these. What do I recommend? Any of these guys. These are clear misers. For a beginning vapor, clear misers are in my opinion, the best thing you can buy. So I'm gonna put on this eye clear here. This is the kind of clear miser, the style of clear miser you're probably gonna get with you know a starter kit. Um, the CE4, Vision CE4, or some people call them the Stardust clear misers, are, are similar to this. Now, basically it's just a wick based system, so you, you know, you unscrew this little black top piece, put kind of hold it sideways, Put your bottle in, get it in there until it's high enough, it wicks up. This is some blueberry crumb e-juice, it's pretty good, I've actually been vaping this for a couple days, it's, it's solid. Um, the only problem, like any of the clear misers, that are top coiled clear misers, so the coil on this is actually up here and there's wicks in here that wick it up to the coil. Now every so often you kind of just got to give it a little tip, um, let the juice kind of get up to the top, towards the top of the wicks. Otherwise, you might get some dry hits. It's not that bad. I mean, when I vape, you know, it's down like this anyway, so the juice kind of gets tipped. So I'll show you how it vapes. Good vapor production, good flavor. Some people say the flavors in clear misers are a bit muted. I don't really have that problem, um, but you could. I don't know. It's it's kind of a I mean, for a beginning vapor, I think it's good. The flavors aren't muted enough to make a difference to me. Maybe to you they are, to experienced vapors, I'm sure they are, because it's not the flavor you're going to get from a rebuildable atomizer, which a lot of experienced vapors use. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is my... Hold on a second, let me find my little ring. There it is. Put this little ring on here. Actually, no, I'm going to show you the Kanger next. This is the Kanger T3. Um, it's a clear miser. The difference between this and this clear miser is that the Kanger has a bottom coil. Now, so that there's not really wicks. There are wicks, but they're just really small down at the bottom, and the coil's down here. So no matter how low your juice is going to get, it's always going to be on the wicks. So you don't really get dry hits with these. Very, very rarely, unless you have like almost no juice in here that's when you're gonna get a dry hit, otherwise it's gonna be good. Um, the threads on this one are, or the, the, the center pin is a little bit high, so sometimes it doesn't fire on my eye taste um, until I you know, put some tweezers in there and just pull it down a little bit. But I'm gonna put it on my um, Ego Twist. The thing a lot of people like about clear misers is that when you're vaping it on a twist or something, it looks like a solid PV. It looks, this looks good. I'll show you how it vapes. I'm on a 4.0 volts. This is a Boom Choco Latte from Mount Baker Vapor. Not bad. Not bad. 
So these are some good products for, you know, beginning vapors. Now, as far as the VV Novas, which I'm a huge fan of, if you've watched my other videos, you should, you would know, I use my VV Novas a lot. Um, so that's what it looks like on my eye taste. I can uh, actually put, I'll put it on my. I have a little ring that goes over the Ego threads, as you've seen in my other videos. I have another mini VV Nova, the exact same color and everything, so I'll just put it on my twist and show you how that looks. With the ring, this does look like a solid PV. It looks good. That's a little overwicked, so that one, oh, it's running really low on juice. I don't know if you can see in there, there's almost no juice in there, so that would be why. Uh, this one does have juice in it, um, so these are awesome. They have, you just buy the, you know, the tank, it comes with a little drip tip. I don't really like it, so I put my own on. You just pop it off, put it on. Um, they're 510 threaded, meaning they don't cover the Ego threads. 510 connection. Um, and uh, these, this one holds about 2 milliliters of juice. You can buy a larger one that holds 3. Um, you just buy this one time and then inside here the actual the little part that has the wicks on it the coil the head um, is replaceable so you spend between eight and twelve dollars on the the tank um, and then the heads are like two dollars so you know your coil starts gunking up it starts tasting bad you just buy another head for two dollars it's awesome um, these vape phenomenally let me show you how it vapes Good vapor production, good flavor. I love these. The only problem, like the other top coil clear misers, is that every so often you just got to kind of give it a tip, let the juice get up there. Not a problem. Now, filling these. Actually, I'll, I'll show you how you fill these real quick. I'll grab my, get some juice out here. This one actually has Get Razzled from Mount Baker Vapor in it right now. Let's see if I can find that. There we go. So it's got some Get Razzled from Mount Baker Vapor. The juice is really low. Filling these is just as easy as any other clear miser. You just unscrew the top. The top comes off. You take your juice. I'm actually going to lay down this top. It's good to have paper towels are vapor, vapor's best friend, so you just kind of just kind of lay it down on the towel right there. Take your juice, kind of hold it sideways so you don't get any in that center, you know, little hole. Hold it kind of, you know, sideways. Hope I actually got got a little bit of juice in that center hole there, so this might be actually a little flooded. Let's see if I can get it out of there. That's the only problem. If you're not careful, a lot of people use syringes to fill the minis. Um, the larger VV Novas aren't as kind of difficult, but if you get it in there, just kind of get a paper towel. Just kind of soak it up. Fill it up. I didn't fill it up all the way. Um, I'm running a little bit low on this juice. I'm trying to conserve it, so don't have to fill it up all the way. It's in there. Give it a little tip, a little shake. And it's easy, it's simple as that. When you want to clean these, take them apart. These, All these parts come apart. You uh, go over to your sink. You, uh, you just take it apart and uh, put some warm water on there. Run it under the warm water, wash it out. You can dry burn if you want. Um, just without anything in it, just hold down the button for a couple seconds, um, wash it out again after you dry burn, and then you're good to go. Now this, I'm going to show you how to fill the Kangers. The Kangers are different from the other clear misers in that because they're a bottom coil, you actually fill them from the bottom. This mouthpiece doesn't come off, you fill them from the bottom. It's the first time I'm using this Kanger EVOD. I've heard amazing things about it from various reviewers. Um, if you watch Mod Envy on Nova Broadcasting. It's a I highly recommend it if you're a 
Euro Vapor. They have reviews. They have giveaways. Um, I have some stuff coming in that I won from a giveaway from them. They're a, they're a great, great program that I think everyone should watch. They've said some great things. I know Pivasardo likes these. A lot of people like these. Let's see what I should fill this up with. Um, I'm actually going to fill this up with some... Oh, this is a tough decision. Wow. Um, like I said, I have flavor ADD, so I'm going to fill this with some... I fill it with Grand Master from Five Pawns E-Liquid. So what you do... My hands are a little, a little slippery. It is metal, so... Sometimes unscrewing the bottom is a little difficult. Oh, there we go. It's kind of slippery. It's brand new, so you just unscrew the bottom. You have the tank part. And then you have this little, little coil. I'm going to set the coil down. You take your liquid. You know, I have this dropper bottle again. Otherwise, you just kind of use the other one. You hold it up in there. You make sure definitely not to get it into that center. Hole. The center hole on these is actually your airflow. That center hole goes right to the right into the mouthpiece. So if you get liquid in there, it's going to come out the mouthpiece, directly out the mouthpiece. It's going to go right in your mouth. It's not going to be good. So this dropper bottle is a little small, so it's kind of difficult. You can kind of see as I'm filling it, you can see through the little window. More and more juice is getting in there. This flavor is great. This is a uh, banana cream, vanilla, peanut butter juice. 18 milligrams, 50-50 blend, PGVG. I'm going to do another video explaining juices and liquids. Uh, so then you just take your, your head, make sure it's in the center hole. Get that on there. There you go. I'm going to use this on my twist. Screw down there nice and tight. That looks like a just a, a complete, you know, complete product. Let's uh, give it a second to kind of get on those wicks. You can see through the little windows that my juice is right about to the top of the windows. Let's see how this vapes. I just filled that and that vaped that well. Wow. I really like this Kanger Evod. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of the same things that uh, the reviewers have been saying. Huge vapor production, a huge throat hit, really clean flavor. You're really, you're really getting all of the flavors that are in your liquid. Um, wow, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna give this one a review um, after I try it out a bit. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out for the rest of the day and give it a review a bit later. This is I'm I'm really liking this. Awesome, um, really good. A lot of people com have been comparing these to the VV Novas. Some say they're better. Some say they're not. I'm gonna have to give it a try. These might have to be my new go-to. Um, I think this looks good. It's a stainless steel tank, so you can vape cinnamon and citrus juices and not have to worry about, you know, cracking or clouding or anything you do have to worry about. With clear misers, they're made of some Pyrex, some plastic. Um, so, uh, well, some of them are Pyrex. Some of them are just really hard plastic. Some of them are glass. You can buy glass tanks. Um, but the plastic you do have to worry about if you're vaping cinnamon or citrus certain flavors will cloud the plastic and Then eventually it'll just crack and the juice is going to get all over it and it's not going to be good So you do have to look out for that um, Let me show you how this vapes one more time Wow, these are awesome, so that's uh, that's essentially all the different products that you have, you got the atomizers for dripping. Some people do like to take these out of the house. They just keep a bottle of juice in their pocket with their PV and drip on the go. I don't necessarily like that because I'm a lazy vapor. So, you know, I like just filling up before I go out of the house and having the juice with me. Um, 
So clear misers are what I would say. I would recommend that you do try these maybe once. I mean, it's worth a try. Some people really like these, like I said. Some people don't. I'm not a huge fan, but they are. They do give you some good performance. But I would definitely recommend a clear miser for the beginning vapor. Any of any of these kinds of brands. So either, you know, a eye clear dual coil clear miser, which is this, or the Stardust, which looks similar to this. Um, those are the, the essential beginning tool. Or a Kanger T3, which is essentially the same thing, just a bottom coil. Um, or either of these products, which I've yet to see. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna test this one out, see how this performs compared to the VV Nova, and see if I like this actually better than the VV. But for right now, my go-to is the the Mini VV Nova. Um, it performs good, good flavor, good vapor production, good everything. Holds juice, like two milliliters of juice, so that's enough to get me through the day. Um, but these are these are some great products. So if you're a beginner, definitely look into clear misers. Um, I think that's where you're gonna want to start out. Later on, you can get more into you know rebuildable atomizers and more advanced things that are gonna uh, gonna enhance your vape. Otherwise, uh, I'm gonna show you how this vapes one more time, just because I, I really am I'm liking this, and uh, I'm gonna send you guys on your way. Really great, really great. So uh, I hope that uh, that will help you guys. I hope that'll answer a lot of your questions. As always, if you have any questions. Uh, shoot me a comment. Um, I check my comments daily. Uh, I'm gonna respond as fast as I can. Um, a lot of people have been asking me comments on my uh, other simple vaping for beginners tutorials um, as far as what to buy, where to buy it, who's got the best prices, um, what my opinions are on certain products. Um, so if you do have questions, drop a comment, send me a PM, you know, get in touch with me. I'll answer you as quick as I can. Otherwise, my other recommendation would be to check out the eSig subreddit. Um, it's a great community. Really, really nice people. They're gonna help you out. You know, um, if you're in a pickle, you know, some guys will send you some free stuff. I actually just got uh, some liquid f for free. Some of this Vapor Chef liquid for free because I was uh I was converting some friends. So I said, you know. I don't really have the uh, the budget to just be giving away all my all my stuff, so someone sent me some sent me some liquid that I'm going to be giving away to some friends who are trying to uh, get into vaping. So eSig subreddit, it's a it's a great resource. You can post your questions there. You can get information on new products there. Um, so yeah, shoot me a PM, comment, check out the eSig subreddit, electronic cigarette forums, ECF forums. Send you guys on your way. Thanks for watching.